and a total Please, Frank, so and, I'll and just I, finish by asking you, if you imagine if um, the chief executive of one of our banks decided to have an away day with staff and was drinking until half three in the morning, and that's what we've heard from a moment, number of people. Are you sure? Oh, no, hold on a second. Yeah, was, John Drennan no. was in here, left at half two, and the Taoiseach was still there, and other people have reported well, I, that he was I there thought, at left at three. But even, I, even if he left at half two, Frank, if I a bank, if a bank Dillon, chief executive, John, if the I, chief executive of one of the banks had done that at present, and then got on Morning Ireland, sounding the way the Taoiseach did this morning, what would you say if a chief executive of a bank did it? I saw John Drennan leave, and, uh, you know, he, he was gone. Uh, before I left. So, you know, let's get the facts straight anyway, Matt. Matt. That's the important thing. Uh, and the second point is that, look, uh, anybody is entitled, as we all were, including all the journalists there, having a bit of a sing-song. That's a normal thing in these party outings because it's a social event as well as a working event. And if you're now telling me that, you know, people can't do that, whether it's the um, your own radio station out for a, for a thinking or, or anybody else, well, then, you know, we're really going wrong. But we're not running the, the, the country. Important thing, the important thing is that we had an excellent two-day session. We had very, very good uh, presentations from a number of people, particularly... Frank uh, daily today from NAMA. The teacher himself uh, performed very, very well both today and yesterday. Uh, our policies, we were reassured by several of those speakers, uh, particularly Frank Daly and NAMA, are absolutely correct. Um, you know, we had Cliff Taylor from the Sunday Business Post, one of the most respected economists. Uh, Cliff, uh, you know, was saying that we now have to focus on the future. And as he put it, we've got to make sure that we land those planes that are out there at the moment safely and that we get on with rebuilding the economy. So, But Frank, it's, can it's I put it to you? That, that no, we're, Frank, we're sorry. We're dwelling on this issue when, in fact... We had a very, very worthwhile uh, couple of days work. Frank, you probably didn't see the free fall program last night on television, did you? Because you were at dinner after I your meeting. Know. Okay. On it, the former Taoiseach, Bertie Ahern, told the most, gave the most incredible excuses for his failures during his time as Taoiseach when it came to the economy. We saw clips of Brian Cowan saying back in 2006 that he wanted nothing to do effectively with the property market. It was up to people to do what they wanted themselves, just washing his hands of it. So while the country is completely wound up by watching this programme, you're on the piss. And you're saying that you're entitled to have a night out that goes on. And sure, you're entitled to a few drinks, but do you think half two, three, half three in the morning, when you're then saying you have another busy day today, do you think is that an appropriate way for public representatives who are funded from the public purse to behave? We were all up this morning, had our breakfast and started our session on time at at 10 o'clock. And, you know, there's a very adequate explanation for what, what went wrong. The interesting thing from Brian Crown's perspective was that he received an Indicon report uh, back in 2006 as to what he should do with the, the property uh, bubble. And the very clear uh, advice in that report was that he shouldn't bring in measures at that stage because it would only bring the, the thing down quicker. Right, and who elected Indicon and to nobody, run the country, Frank? And nobody but nobody, including yourself, Matt, ever questioned that report. And you discussed that report on your programme. So, you know, there were a lot of mistakes made. Oh, Frank. So we in government Frank. made mistakes. But the big mistake, Matt, was, and this was outlined very clearly again today, that between 2004 and 2007, 220 billion extra was given out by the banks without taking account of any of the proper risk measures, without taking account of the people they were giving it to. That is the cause of our problem. And the Yet government the stood idly by, and the regulators stood idly by, and now you're washing your hands if either you're blaming Lehman well, Brothers for the Matt, problems internationally, or are you no, saying, we, what's the point of having a government no, if we, you we do didn't, nothing? We didn't, we didn't say what is the point of having a government if you just take reports that say, oh, we shouldn't do anything, so you do nothing? Do you have no, no we, brains we, in the government to make decisions for yourself by. based on the evidence? You, you did we stand idly by. You teach it, the former Taoiseach, Bertie O'Hearn, told us last night that he deliberately stood idly by. Brian Cowan was, they showed the clips of him saying that he was standing by watching. You didn't see it because you weren't watching the television last night, but this is what we all know to be the case. How can you deny to the people of the country the 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 uh, issues then that arose between the international scene and banking and the Irish property bubble caused the downturn. We are accepting our part of the blame in that. We have now spent two years in putting it right. We're coming out of this recession, and I would respectfully suggest to you, Matt, it's time to start looking forward and being positive. Without giving the, the last four times I've been on with you, you've asked me the same questions. It's no, about time I to move on. I haven't actually, Frank. We go back and we listen to the tapes. To move on, you know, and listen, 
get get some go, bring on Frank Daly. Well, maybe could we move on, on with and, a general election, Frank? Would that be a good idea? Move on with well, the general and let well, the people decide which government they want to lead them into well, the whenever, future. Whenever we have that, we'll we'll. Well, what do you mean but, whenever we have it? What are you afraid of? Why don't you have it now? Because we don't have to have it until the end don't of have our to term. Have it now. And uh, and I'll tell you something. <sighs> if we did have a general election now the opposition parties would have to put in place the exact same policies as we are pursuing. Uh, and I'm not so sure if they would have the bottle that we have to make the hard decisions that are necessary. Frank Fahey, thank you for joining us. Let's take a break.